This is exciting. I'm off in my halls. I'm on a trip to the seaside, which brings happy memories rolling back. Here comes my time machine. And it's on time. We've got a ticket to explore England's celebrated south coast in style. I'll be travelling along one of the world's most beautiful shorelines. Generations of holidaymakers have adored this coast. From Dorset, through Devon, and into Cornwall, ending where I can head west no more, at rugged land's end. And my coastal companions are close by. Here it comes! Nick runs an infamous tidal race. Mark is navel-gazing. Above me is some 3,000 tons of modern fighting machine. Miranda goes in search of some slippery sea life. And Alice sniffs out the secrets of the seaside feel-good factor. It works! <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> This is coast, off to the seaside. Heading along England's southwest coast to the tip of Cornwall. My journey starts en route for Swanage. You've got to love a steam train. But the first time locals like these chuffed down the tracks, they caused consternation. Now, we might only be travelling at 30 miles per hour. But when Queen Victoria took her first trip on a steam train, she found the speed distressing. I've just got time to see how steam caused such a stir along our shore. Cheers, please. Christian Walmar's an authority on the railway revolution. There's undoubtedly something that steam trains add. It feels much more like actually going on holiday. Absolutely, it's, it's part of the experience, part of the fun. Until the advent of the railway, if you lived more than 20 or 30 miles away from uh, the coast, you probably never saw this. But here we are, we've arrived, following in the tracks of townies, taking on a brave new world. The arrival of these pioneering visitors had a dramatic effect on Swanage Seafront. So, Christian, before the railways connected the coast to the rest of the country, what was here? What was in a town like this? Well, frankly, not a lot. Really, it was a place of just a few hundred people who were left in peace most of the time. So it was just a working town that happened to be beside the sea? Absolutely, just as with dozens of other places like this, once the railway arrived, its peace was rather upset. So the, the coast, as we think about it, the beach, the, the place for holidays and weekends, is really was invented by and made by the railways. It created a whole industry. You know, a couple of hundred resorts in Britain were created as a result of the railways. And I'm going to see quite a few of them on this trip. I mean, I'm heading down through Dorset, through Devon, and then into Cornwall. So it's kind of one of the meccas of, of beach holidays. Uh, absolutely. Torquay, Paynton, all those places. You, you'll see the same pattern of development, the same houses built in the 19th century as a result of that. And if it hadn't been for the railways, the steam engines, it would never have happened. None of that would have happened at all. 